All right, so we're at the end for the teapot. Um, I've got all of my component parts ready to go. So I've got my teapot body. I've got a slab that I can use to make my teapot lid. I've got some extra clay that I can use to make the lid latch and um, spout and handle options. So I'll set those aside for a moment. What I'm going to do first is my lid. So I've gone ahead and while it was spinning on the potter's, or on, on, not on the potter's wheel, while it was spinning on the banding wheel, I anchored my hand and I drew a line and then I cut out uh, the interior to make a perfect circle. Um, and that means that my lid is actually gonna be centered on the pot. Another approach that you could take is to find a cookie cutter that you have in your home, or I keep lids of things that I've recycled and I can use the lids um, as like cookie cutter. So if you have one that's a good size, you can use that to trace, but make sure it's in the middle by spinning your banding wheel and tapping it, or just like eyeball it really well um, before you trace that, okay? If you're gonna use that method. So that's another method. Um, to figure out how big to cut my lid that I'm attaching, I'm just gonna wet the edge here. And I want this lid to be slightly curved, so I'm gonna slightly curve it. And I'm just gonna press my slab on, and then I'm gonna pop it off. And you can see that it's left a perfect mark for me for where that opening is. So now we'll be able to trace that. So I can take my cutting tool and just working really nice and slowly. And this is a leather hard slab. I'm not working with a wet slab. I did it wrong. Um, no, I didn't. Um, Cause I'm gonna have a drop in lid. If you wanted your lid to sit on top, uh, you'd need to make it bigger but I'm actually intending for a drop-in lid, so. All right, so now this would fit inside there if I wanted it to. Um, I need to shave off a little bit more, but before we get to that, um, let me show you how to do the inside aspect. So I'm gonna take some uh, clay that's good quality, and I just need a tiny little bit maybe this amount. And I'm gonna just roll out a coil for myself, trying to make it as even as possible. All right, and once it makes a ring the size of the interior, that's gonna be enough. All right, so this part's a little funny. You're gonna get inside kind of like underneath um, your, um, your edge of your lid. Um, so you might choose the needle tool. I think that's what I'll use. Get a little bit of slip and kind of paint it around the underside in there because that's gonna be your attachment point. And just get in there and go around several times. So I did once in that direction I'll go once in the other direction and I'm working the underside in here because that's where I'm gonna be making my attachment for the lid latch. Okay, and that's feeling pretty wet and scored, but I'm gonna add a little bit more slip and just do one more pass on it because this is a very important attachment. All right, and then I can take my little coil and slip and score that as well. All right, so I've got my very scored little coil and then I'm gonna just stick it in there kind of underneath. And I'm gonna be flexing it out afterwards. So this will make more sense in just a second. So now I've got it inside kind of underneath and now I'm going to blend it on to create a 
the lid gallery. So I'm just using my fingers here, making small little motions to blend that on attractively. And then I'm gonna get inside there using my fingers because a tool is not gonna fit at this angle and blending it on to the inside aspect of my teapot. And it looks a little gross because it popped up a bit, but then I can just take my finger and push it down. And I'm just giving it a little pinch to make it nice and even. And this is creating the area that my lid is going to sit on. But you can see that it's a little asymmetrical right now. So a couple things I could do, we could use a lid and trace it like I talked about earlier, which is what I'm gonna do. Or you could hold your elbow in one spot. Actually, I could show you the more difficult method. So let's just make sure that that's attached evenly and on there smoothly. I've kind of thinned it into like a resting area. All right, so I'm gonna anchor my elbow on my body or on the table put a couple fingers on the piece itself and think of yourself like a record player. So you're gonna hold, use one hand to spin and just focus on holding your fingers in the same place. So I just traced that line and um, that's leaving just enough of a lid gallery that I can now come in and remove the excess and don't let it fall into your piece. It'll be really tricky to pull it out. All right, and then you can just go around, smooth it out. Um, and ideally, I would also blow dry that a little bit before I try to mess with it, because I've already kind of made it less cute than it was. Um, and then I'll think about taking down the edges of this lid just a little bit. So one of the tricks that I use when I'm trying to get something even is I'll hold my fingers, these two fingers on the outside edge when I'm trying to like trace a line that can be really helpful. Um, I know that I want it to be bigger than this. So I'm gonna just kind of use that as a guideline for like, don't go that far. So I've cut that out. I think I went a little too far, but the great thing about that is I can just roll it again and get a little bit more width back. And I'll need to play with it a bit. All right a little bit more in the other direction. So I'm coming from the middle out. All right, so my size is pretty good now. I just need to get my corners even. I'm gonna come back to this once it's uh, a little bit firmer. Um, because now it's kind of worked over. It's like feeling a little bit damp. All right, which brings us to our next matter, the all important spout. Um, before you get into putting on the spout, make sure that you are totally done smoothing the body of your piece. So give it one final smooth with a wet sponge. And make sure that your base edge is how you want it. Make sure that everything is exactly how you would want it to be. So I'm just spinning my banding wheel and sponging this piece like crazy. All right, so the next video will show how to put on the spout and the one after that will be uh, attaching the handle.